match coming up next. I gotta tell you, man, I'm really looking forward to this match. We have the phenomenal one AJ Styles versus a technical specialist, I should say, in Daniel Bryan. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, have these two guys ever really faced each other in real life? Um, I'm sure they maybe did on the independent scene, but I haven't heard anything about it, so I'd like to know. So if somebody could confirm that for me, uh, that'd be nice. I'd like to know. I really do. I'm pretty sure the matches they would have had would have been awesome. But, um... Imagine now if Brian wasn't hurt. I mean, AJ Styles has been fantastic uh, this past year. Then I, of course, even even me not watching. I mean, I saw WrestleMania. I saw him probably have the best match of the night with Shane, in my personal opinion. Um, I honestly do believe that their match was probably the best that night. It went maybe longer than it should have, but it was still a good match. And I, like I said, it was the best one that I had seen that on WrestleMania. There were some other good matches too, but that I just think AJ and Shane did the best. Especially when Shane practically killed himself maybe twice. Uh, it's a wonder how this guy ha isn't dead with all the shit he's done over the years. I mean, for Christ's sake, if there was a 10-foot or 20-foot uh, high structure or whatever, he'd probably find some way to jump off of it. If he was in the match, he's like, you know what? I'm going to jump off that shit. But yeah, let's put it this way. Basically, what I'm trying to say is AJ Styles can have a good match with practically everybody. He had great matches with Cena, and Cena is shit, in my opinion, at wrestling. I mean... He has his moments here and there, I'll admit that, but god damn it, he is so bad. He, he, he gave John Cena some of his best matches over the last few years or so. I mean, and if you can do that, you're probably the best fucking wrestler in the world. And here we got the yes chance from the EBCW crowd here on Raw for Daniel Bryan. I'll tell you this much, man. I'll never, I've never been more sad um, of a retirement than I was about Daniel Bryan's. When he announced his retirement, I was in class. Uh, it was like, was it? It was around one o'clock or so. He announced his retirement when I was, when my class was just starting out. I'm sitting here like I was in shock. I was sad. I was like, wow, I can't believe this is really happening. And then I watched Monday Night Raw tonight. Where was it that night? I don't know. I watched Monday Night Raw, and I sat there and I, I couldn't help but start to cry when he was giving his retirement speech. It was really sad. I mean, I was I'm gonna say I was crying, but I was definitely tearing up a little bit. Honestly, probably one of the I hate this. I don't mean to sound like that, but it's, it's probably one of the best what could have been stories in wrestling. Um, because imagine if he didn't get hurt when he was champion. Imagine if he didn't get the uh, concussion or whatever when he was Intercontinental Champion. He is probably the epitome of what could have been. So now we'll forever be asking ourselves that question. I highly doubt he'll ever go back in the ring too. Like people are people are saying, "Oh, we can go back to the independent scene after WWE is done." Like we're done with it, and they go their mutual ways and all that type of stuff. And no, I don't think he should ever be in the ring again, in my personal opinion, for the fact that if you saw his um, what was it? If you saw his interview with Coach on ESPN, um. Apparently, he was having seizures. So once you that once it gets to be that serious, because he's had like so many concussions, Daniel Bryan, I think he should never step in the ring again. I hate to say that, but I think it's best for him and his health and his well-being and his child, because now he's a child. He's going to have a child, I should say, with Brie Bella. So I think. Uh, I think Daniel Bryan is fine where he is, and as far as I know, he's still the general manager of SmackDown, so... Which I think he's doing a very... Which I thought he was doing a very good job on, um, before I stopped watching. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Poor Daniel Bryan is all I have to say. I will say this much, I was never happier 
of somebody winning the championship more um maybe besides a few other people uh when he when what's his face when he won at wrestlemania 30. i still think that was probably one of the best wrestlemania moments i've witnessed ever the ending and that show would have been shit had it not been for him don't act like it's not true for those of you who are like, oh, he's just some vanilla midget and shit. No disrespect to Batista. I love Batista, man. He, I'm a huge fan of his, too. But the way things were going with him, it wasn't going to work out. And I was salty when people were booing him and shit. Like, I wanted him to win the Royal Rumble. But people were hopping on this Daniel Bryan train. And I always like, I like Daniel Bryan. I always have liked him. But... I don't know, I felt like it wasn't his time yet or whatever, but then I started, I started, like, watching the story unfold of, like, him with the, uh, what do you call, him with the authority and shit, like, it was basically him toppling down the authority, and it was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And he won the championship after, for that, so, it was a great story. So yeah, in the end, I wasn't so salty about the whole thing. That's basically what I'm trying to get at here. Oh shit! Pele kick by AJ Styles. Holy shit! I don't. I. Oh. <laughs> How? Why? Why? From what we've seen and heard tonight. Is that T-bone? No I don't know what kind of suplex that was. It was a head and arm suplex. <laughs> AJ Styles got fucked up just now. That's great. That was funny. Nice drop kick there by Daniel Bryan. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to make it where the next finisher I hit on him. He's just not. He's not taking damage either. I'm trying to make it where the fi that when I hit him with the finisher, he's going to stay down. But it looks like he's his health is barely going down when I hit him. I don't know what to do. I think it's time. Test it out. Oh my god. I hate this game. It works once and then it doesn't work when I actually want it to work. He may be in the best physical Ugh. condition I've ever seen him in. What is he doing? Bitch, what are you doing? Bitch. He's got a signature, man. You might as well try something. Thank you, God. Yes, kicks. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. I loved it when the crowd did that. That's another thing I'm going to miss about Daniel Bryan. Why is it when I want it to work, it doesn't work? And when it, and then when I, when I try and move back a little bit, it doesn't do shit. I fucking hate this game. I swear to God. Someone uh, recently, or not recently when I uploaded this video, but I recently saw a comment on one of my videos saying he might consider getting this game. And I told him, if you want to get a game, if you want to get a WWE 2K game, buy SmackDown vs. Raw 2014, or SmackDown vs. Raw 20... Um, oh, what am I doing here? Oh, he's going to tap out? Oh, shit, am I going to make him tap out? Oh, fucking rope break. What happened to that shit with the, um... Why can't he do the running knee? What, the, what is this shit? I'm trying to make him do the running knee. And he's not doing the running knee. What is that, not his fucking finisher anymore? Oh, okay, so let me go back. Yeah, let me go back to what I was saying. He, he was saying, like, oh, I haven't played a game since, you know, this... Uh, this wrestling game. I think it was a WCW game. I, I forgot. I apologize. Um... Oh, but yeah, I was I was trying to tell him. He's like, if you want if you want to watch if you want to play a WWE wrestling game, all you have to do is play. Um, all you should really do 
his um his plays smacked down a shot 2014 or 20, 2016 or 2k16 whatever it is called because those in my opinion are the best games in my opinion those two games were the best out of all everything 2k has done 2k14 obviously i like slightly better than 2k16 but i think 2k16 was no was overall a very very solid game so it's just me but like i said my personal opinion not that i was trying to talk him out of getting this game but i told him i gave a specific reason they said that they he added a bunch they added a bunch of shit in this game that didn't have to be added and for that reason it makes the game very enjoyable to play unenjoyable i should say what the fuck is his... <sighs> Dude, Daniel Bryan's moveset is fucking shit. Like, he's got some, he's got a really shit um thing. What is he doing? Oh, fuck. Alright, I gotta get my stamina up. I didn't realize I had no stamina. But fuck, like, what did they do to Daniel Bryan's moveset, dude? I can't even do the fucking running knee. I could have ended this fucking 10 minutes ago. And no. This game decides to fuck me. Not Nothing surprising there. Yes. 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 And yes. Get fucked. One. Two. I fucking hate this game. No health. Nothing. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is oh, great. corner finisher. Why is that a fucking corner finisher? Running knee. Now we got it. Now we're getting shit done. Come on, motherfuckers. Well, this might be the worst yet. Now, if he kicks out of this, this is bullshit. One, two, three. Thank you, God. Whew. Jesus fucking Christ. I wonder how long this video is going to go. I don't even know what... I usually don't know the time of the video until I'm done recording it, but... That one went, that one went pretty fucking long. It went a lot longer than I wanted it to be. So... It went a lot longer than it should have been had I fucking known that he was a corner finisher. That was dumb. GG 2K. GG. And we'll end this with the yes chance and Daniel Bryan celebrating with the yes movement. If only that was really still around. Well, technically is still around, but if only it was really still around when he was right if he was still rest. Yes, 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 yes. Hope you guys enjoyed this match though. And I'll see you guys on Nitro. Peace out. God bless.